Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. We're pre-gaming at Matt's for Whiskey Weekend. Whiskey Wimps! And in today's... Uh, oh, first of all, first of all. On this channel, we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. But today's video is uncut. And in today's Uncut, Matt's going to tell us why you or anyone would need a hognose snake. Why? 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 I'll tell you why. Well, no, you're going to tell us why. Why do you want a hognose? Yeah, why, why would you possibly, why would anybody want Heterodon Nasicus? Heterodon Nasicus. I mean, because they're so freaking cute. What other animals are heterodons other than hognose? I just know heterodon is hognoses. Oh, that's, that's it. What about this guy? Is this guy a heterodon? That's Wolverine. That is Wolverine. In the what? classic suit, too. Don't you love that? He looks pretty heterodontal to me. Okay. What is this VivTech stuff you got here? Beakers? Oh, uh, I got beakers for days. They have the best lighting in the world. Shout out to VivTech. VivTech? VivTech? That tech? But what's up with the beaker? It came with the package. I don't know. Doesn't it like... Doesn't this just scream science? Science. It, it does scream science, and so what I'm thinking is we need a scientific reason why, why you would need a hognose snake in your life. Scientific reason, not just cuteness. I mean, just look at him. He looks so cute. Boy's tired. He's been breeding. Hey, look at that little tongue, a little upturned nose. Doesn't that just scream cuteness? Yeah, yeah. We determined they're cute, but we need heterodontal scientific reasons why a hognose snake is. Well, it's, it's kind of like Pringles. Like, once you pop, you can't stop. And once you get one hog nose, I mean, you need more. You have one. Don't you want more? Yeah, I have one. You gave it to me. I know. Do you want another one? Want is a strong word. Need? Need is a stronger word. Wish? I wish you would give me a scientific <laughs> reason There's for no scientific why. reason why you should want a hog nose. No scientific reason whatsoever? No. It's personal opinion. Do you want a, a hog nose? Can you care for a hog nose? Okay, that's a good that's a good question. What what are the care requirements for a hog nose? Requirements. Okay. Requirements are at least a 90 degree hot spot. 80 degrees on the cool side. Kept dry. They don't like it too moist. Done and done. What is that noise? That's a cat. That's oh, a cat, okay. <laughs> it's uncut, Brian. We can't we can't break. I'm not breaking. There's yeah. no breaks here. I'm still waiting for the scientific reason. Why you would need a hog nose snake. There's no that, scientific reason. There's no scientific reason whatsoever. Mm -mm. You can't think of it like, would a hog nose snake alleviate some kind of... Pain in your life? Pain, mental pain, anguish. I mean, look at that face, Brian. Look at the face. How many years have you been keeping hognose snakes? 
close to 10 years now. Close to 10 years. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Did I mention that we're pre-gaming for Whiskey Weekend, which is coming up? If you watched the last video, you saw me on my way here, or arriving here, and then if you watched the video after this, it's the after pre-game. Anyway, Hognose Snake. Show us the most... Ah, words! <laughs> oh, look at that. What is this? This is new. That's not new. It's been there. For how long? For years. How many years? At least four. <laughs> four? Four. Remember four? This? I do remember that. I was a staff. Yeah, well, I, I'm a staff too. The, but tell me, that, that picture has not been there as long as this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. This was the first thing I remember seeing in this room. And there was also a moment in this room where I almost got bit in the face by a blue beauty snake. Yeah. And I remember this from that day. Would you like to do the honors? What? What? What's happening? I saved a spot for you. Oh, I, I've got the camera. You're going to have to do the rest of the work. I don't know how to do this. Just, just peel it off. Here, this is, how you, this is how a vinyl sticker works, folks. Here. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. All right, you're filming. I'm filming. I'm holding the sticker. Mm -hmm. It's a little janky because it's been traveling with me on the train, which you guys will see in the upcoming video this coming weekend, the train and what it did to my sticker. Plane, trains, or taxi cabs. All the choices oh, are hips. planes, trains, and automobiles. All of those modes of transportation. Oh. It's taking it's some of the stuff that's necessary. You see this stuff is leaving behind? <gasps> that's, that's crucial stuff that should be sticking to the other part. So you're saying your stickers are inferior? Yeah, I didn't make these <laughs> stickers. <laughs> and I'm saying, yeah, these particular stickers are inferior. They, oh, oh, wait, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Hold on. Oh, fixing it. Look at it. So if you have these little tiny pieces here that get stuck here, just zoom in. These little tiny pieces that get stuck, like mm -hmm. the, the inside, the hollow part of the E mm -hmm. gets stuck. Just go to the backing. Give it a little scratch and sniff. Ugh. And scratch again. Scratch again. And it'll, oh. It Scratch. worked on the B part. Scratch some more. Wow, that last part is not wanting to go. The, Can you sniff again? The hollow part of the... Oh, wait, I fixed it. There it goes. Oh, jeez. These things... Okay. These things have been sitting in my garage. Oh, I think we're almost there. It's a delicate process, okay? I'm going to get some new stickers. Very soon. It won't be Is it going to be better than this sticker? <laughs> Here. Line it up. Uh-huh. Get it get it straight with the top. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was pretty good. Ooh, I like that. Mm-hmm. Rub it hard. Like super hard. Knuckle, thumb. Index finger, scratch it, scratch it nice, especially on the small little parts like the hollow part of the E and the hollow part of the B. And once it's all done, once you feel like you've given it enough proper pressure, take that top layer off and flicking yes, sir. We're looking good and fresh and oh that's a good time <laughs> that's the best all right now that we've now that i've fulfilled my end of the deal best hog no snake in your racks period what is evan's hypo what, is, what why is this evan's hypo because there's actually two different 
forms of hypo and hog noses. One is Evans hypo, and then the other one is Dutch hypo. And the differences are not very much, actually. Okay, so this is Evans hypo. This is Evans hypo. Is this, is it's a line of hypo? I assume it is. Yes, it's a simple recessive as well. Ooh. Ooh, this is why you get a hog nose because they hiss. Focus, please. What'd you do with my focus button? Nothing. I didn't touch anything. Jeez, why you gotta blame it on me? Well, you gotta blame it on somebody. Not right. me. Yeah. What What was the other hypo you said? Dutch. Dutch hypo. Do you have Dutch hypo? I do not have Dutch hypo. Oh my gosh. All right. You know what? Here's what I've decided. You don't want a hog nose snake. You want a gray banded king snake. That's what you really want. Forgo the hog nose. There's no scientific reason to keep hognose snakes. What you want to keep are gray banded king snakes because gray is a fairly drab color. I think we can all agree on that. And then the red contrasting that gray is quite nice. Quite nice indeed, especially against a yellow, blue, and white flannel. How about a king snake? Because they're kings. That looks like a desert king snake. It's a high white California king. Oh, is it? Oh, mm -hmm. it has a, you know, the head looks like a, a desert king. Because of the shavings? Um, Here, I'll take them off. No, it just reminds me, I, I had a desert king snake, an mm -hmm. Arizona desert king snake when I was a kid, and it, it looked a lot like that, minus the, minus the something. Minus the something? All right, this video has been too long. You got 30 seconds to sell us on why you should get a hognose snake instead of a gray banded king snake. In 30 seconds. That's a beauty. Hognoses are cooler, they're cuter, there's more colors. And because I said so. More colors than that? I mean, look at this. Which one could eat the other? Well, that one could eat everything. All right, Great Bandit King Snake <laughs> wins. For the win. Don't get a hognose snake. Get a Great Bandit King Snake before your hognose gets eaten by the Great Bandit King Snake. All right, bye. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you on the video on this weekend. Let's do it.